going to tell you about our recent paper on dot cells for cancer immunotherapy. So this paper deals with this T cell type, which we call dot cells, and dot stands for delta one T cell. And so what is a dot cell? A dot cell is a T cell type. So T cells have a signature receptor, which we call the T cell receptor, the TCR, that has two different chains. In this case, it will have a gamma and a delta chain. And delta-1 T cells have a delta chain of a particular type, the so-called delta-1. Now, these cells we think are very important and very interesting candidates for cancer immunotherapy because of three characteristics. They are very prone to infiltrate tumors, so they go inside the tumor where they can exert their anti-tumor effector functions. And these are to kill tumors, so they are able to kill tumor cells. And also, they produce anti-tumor cytokines, so anti-tumor molecules, um, such as uh, interferon gamma and TNF-alpha, tumor necrosis factor, so anti-tumor cytokines. So these three properties of dot cells, of delta-1 T cells, we think are very interesting. But there was a major problem in using these cells for immunotherapy, which is delta-1 T cells are only 0.3% of our white blood cells in circulation, both in healthy patients and in cancer patients, uh, healthy donors and cancer patients. So a major problem to use these cells in immunotherapy would be to have enough cells to do what we call adoptive cell therapy. So adoptive cell therapy is a, a major strategy to do immunotherapy, but you need billions of cells to re-inject into the patient to exert uh, their uh, tumor, uh, anti-tumor effector functions. And so what we've done for 2.5 years was to test 2,488 uh, conditions to actually come up with a new protocol to expand and produce the billions of cells we need. So essentially, if we look at the number of dot cells, we start with a very limited amount of cells and they all increase with time in vitro in our culture media to get the billions we require for adoptive cell therapy. So not only we expand cells, so this is expansion, it's getting a lot of cells, but we also differentiate cells. And what is differentiation? Differentiation is to actually change the way these cells work into producing a better, in terms of anti-tumor effect, effect, effector functions, a better cell type. And this is what we now call really the dot cell, which has not only the gamma delta 1 T cell receptor I told you about, and this is a critical molecule for T cells to recognize the tumor cells, distinguishing them from healthy cells and to mount the anti-tumor effector functions, but also, on top of this, they express a repertoire of NK receptors. And NK stands for natural killer. So these are killer receptors. These are molecules involved in triggering killer functions, cytotoxic functions from these cells. So with this new cell type that on top of what was born with, now has new receptors that we induce with our protocol in vitro, with this new cell type, what we show in this paper is that we get enhanced killing in vitro and very importantly, enhanced killing in vivo, in experimental models of cancer. So we actually started with leukemia and we showed these cells are able to prevent leukemia dissemination in a host, in an immunodeficient mouse. And so this prevents leukemia from establishing in the bone marrow, spreading to liver, spleen, lung, etc. So this is really the proof of concept for application of these cells in cancer immunotherapy. So now what we're doing is to repurpose this therapy to other leukemias and also to solid tumors. So we're testing these cells in animal models of ovarian, pancreatic cancer and so forth. And with all this research, what we aim to is to do the first clinical trial or trials with these cells in multiple hematological and solid cancers. So these clinical trials are our objective. This is where we're going with these cells. So this paper constitutes the proof of concept 
that will allow us to progress towards clinical trials. We want to do this in hematological cancers and in solid tumors, and we hope that with this research, now published in clinical cancer research, this is really our first step towards getting dot cells into the clinic and to have a new cancer immunotherapy.